You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return! They return. The enemy! So many enemies! Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. Listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm! At the helm, we are needed. appears dormant. The console hums to life. Nothing in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated.
thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gith with you. You keep dangerous company. More that gith have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. Finally. Let us make for the helm. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. after we escape. for peace. Oh, 
These boots have seen everything. Before they strike! Ignore the devil! We must take the transponder! Time to press ahead.
If this ship hits the ground, we're dead! As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. possible 
I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Even injured, it's dangerous. Be careful. You approached the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel... compassion. Compassion? You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve. To die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. Don't we? I saw you on the ship. Free. Scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <sighs> what was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things, somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? 
Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. And I hate to turn down an invitation. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. Supplies, maybe. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable, sir. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norseloid as well. I can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite halved, or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, Thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. 